on the upcoming parts, you are going to learn how to build the client app step by step. The client app is used to create the short URLs, but also for the admins to manage the users. We are going to build the client app using the ASP.NET MVC, so it's really important that before you get your hands dirty and write some code, you do understand what MVC is all about. ASP.NET MVC is a web development framework from Microsoft. It is built on the top of the .NET framework. It is designed for building web applications using the Model View Controller or MVC pattern. This pattern is an architectural design that separates an application into three main logical components, the model, the view, and the controller. Each of these components handles specific development aspects of an app. But how does the model view controller pattern actually work? The model represents the application's data and business logic. It's concerned with retrieving data from the databases, encapsulating these data often in objects or data structures, and defining the business rules on that data. For example, if you are building an e-commerce application, your model would include product objects with properties like price, description, and availability. In this course, we are building a URL shortener app, so our model would include URL objects with properties like the original link, the shortened link, and the number of clicks. The view, on the other hand, is all about the presentation of the data provided by the model. It is the user interface on the application which consists of the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The view displays the data from the model to the user and also sends user actions like button clicks, form submits to the controller. The controller acts as an intermediary between the model and the view. It handles user input, often through HTTP requests, works with the model to process data, and selects a view to render that data. In simple terms, the controller is responsible for controlling the flow of the application. ASP.NET MVC is ideal for web applications where a clear separation of concerns is needed. This separation not only makes the application more manageable, but also easier to test and maintain. But what are the key architectural parts of an ASP.NET MVC application? The first one and the main one or the entry point to the app would be routing. The URL routing mechanism in an ASP.NET MVC maps the URLs directly to a specific controller and then actions within that controller. This makes the URLs more readable and improves the SEO or the search engine optimization. Next, we have controllers, which are going to process the incoming requests, are going to handle user inputs and interactions, and execute appropriate application logic. Then next, we have models, and these can be designed using the entity framework for object relational mapping, allowing easy interaction with the databases. Then we have the views, and the Razor View engine is commonly used for rendering views in ASP.NET MVC because it allows you to embed C-sharp code within the HTML. Then within the views, we can use view models, and there are specific models built to serve data to the views, containing only the data that is required by that specific view. And last but not least, we have the dependency injection, and this is often used for injecting objects into a class, instead of relying on the class to create the object itself. It does help to achieve a loosely coupled design. So, as you can see, the ASP.NET MVC is a powerful and flexible framework which offers a structured environment for building robust and scalable web applications. And it can be used for both small and large-scale projects.